What's up, Droners? B here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a possibility of an app that can track any drone around you. So let's get into it. So DJI has been a huge proponent for drone ID laws and the ability to put drone IDs or electronic drone IDs on drones. And they're doing this because, well, they've been having a lot of issues with transparency. And so what they're looking to do is be able to make it so that on one side as a drone pilot, it's easy to be able to fly the drone when you want to. And the other side is somebody who's kind of bothered by drones or needs to know what's going on with drones around them, that it will be easily accessible for you to know that. In the middle, we find a possible app that DJ may be releasing. And this app has the ability to be able to show you what's happening when it comes to drones anywhere around you for up to about a half a mile, which is really interesting because this isn't an app for you know authorities or for airports, this is an app for anyone. DJI makes up about 62% of the consumer drone market. So chances are it's a DJI drone if it's flying around you. But it's not just DJI drones that we're looking at here. What we have is this app can search for any drones in the area and will be able to look at the remote identification tags that they're hoping will be the law. And that means that anybody in their mama is going to be able to see who you are and what drones you're flying if you're within a half a mile of them. Now I can see an argument going either way for this. So as a drone pilot, you know, if I'm doing a professional drone job and I'm permitted and I'm doing all the kind of stuff that I, that I should be doing, it really ain't your business what I'm doing because I've already talked to the authorities. I've already been doing that. I don't really care for you to know who I am when I'm flying my $20,000 drone or whatever the drone is on something I've fully permitted. And on the other side of it, when I'm at my wedding or at a wedding or at an event or something like that, and there's a drone flying over my head that is disrupting what's going on because somebody's being, you know, being horrible as a drone pilot and doing what they shouldn't be doing, then I think they should be readily available to be able to figure out who that is, identify it, and hold them accountable. I'd say the biggest positive thing here is that right now it's still very hard to hold drone pilots accountable for their actions because there's no way to identify directly who's flying when. And this is a step in the right direction because obviously everyone will now have the ability to identify you. So you're gonna think twice before you do something dumb is the idea here, I hope. So I'd say if implemented correctly, this could be a good thing, but I also think there should be some excep exceptions to the rules and just make sure that, you know, it's not erring all the way towards other people who aren't drone enthusiasts or drone pilots to make them feel good versus actually be safe or be secure. And one last note, this is actually different from the Aeroscope technology that DJI released in 2017. That was meant for airports and like, you know, municipalities and police officers to be able to track drones within 10 miles or more of there. But they also are only tracking DJI drones. But it's a very powerful device that pretty much gives you all the telemetry data as well as the registration data of any drone within the range of these antennas that it has. What they do is they pick up the signal between your drone, uh, the controller and the drone itself. And from that information, you can get a lot of information just like you get a lot of information while you're flying. You get all the telemetry data, you get the video data, you get a lot of things. So it pretty much deciphers that information and tells you who's flying, where, what speed, and which direction they're going. So that if you're at an airport or your authority, you need to know what's going on, then it's easy to tell, but it only works with DJI drones. So that's the big differenti differentiator here is that this is an app that just works very short distance, whereas that was a system that worked on big distances, but only with DJI drones. And just to even further tell you the differences, the Aeroscope system was a 40 pound Pelican case with giant antennas. This is an app for any smartphone. So huge difference, not really comparable in what they do, but at the same time, we're identifying drones in the air, which again, comes back to accountability, which could be a good thing. All right, Joners, thank you so much for checking this out. If you wanna see more drone intense information like videos like this one, you can check them out. We got them right here. Or if you wanna see the greatest intro video to a drone channel that's ever existed, it's right here. I'm joking. It's over there. As always, make sure that you subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know when we drop new videos. That shows you that we, you're supporting us and we want to put more out. And make sure you stay fly.